Hey guys, what's up? It's Tyler DeSantis, and this is your reading for Aquarius Sun Moon Rising for the month of February. Um, so Aquarius Sun Moon Rising, month of February. Okay, so first two cards out. You have the world with the Ten of Cups. So this is completion. This is emotional fulfillment. This is getting everything you wanted. <laughs> this is like celebration. It's, um, and I think it does it too. It's like Aquarius is like, you know, it's coming into the age of Aquarius. So it's about freedom, self-expression. It's about doing and being whoever you want to be. And when you do that, it's going to bring you emotional fulfillment. And Aquarius is already, already do that. You guys already, these are kind of like your energies. <clears throat> so, um... Yeah, so... Okay, but you might still have some things in your mind that are um, weighing heavy on you, like causing you to stay up at night, have nightmares, things like that. And maybe it's because you are not charging ahead with your passions, with whatever you're doing, um, as far as like work or in a relationship or um, spiritually. You have this energy of like needing to move forward now and pursuing this. And you also have the sun back, the sun upside down. So the sun upside down is almost the exact same as the, <laughs> um, the upright. So it's still positivity. It just might not be like your rewards might not be as big as you hope for, I guess. But it's still good. It's just a more humbler type of energy. <clears throat> then you have the five of cups with the um, six of pentacles. So <clears throat> you're dwelling on the negative instead of the positive and in, that's causing you to be unbalanced um, on the physical plane because pentacles are about the physical. So you're just focusing on all the bad and if you just turned around you'd realize you'd have like, you have these two opportunities. Oh, a lot of these fall off. You have these two opportunities present or these other opportunities present and you're not paying attention to them because you're too busy worrying about these things that didn't go right instead of what did go right. So, King of Swords. The King of Swords is about the mind. Um, he's fixed in his energy and he's upright, so he's like a just leader or whatever. But it's like the things that you're thinking and the things that you are um, and how you're like leading people is correct at this time. Like, it's a good time for. Um, to cut through the bullshit, to let people know, <clears throat> like, if they, maybe it's, like, a person that you, that's causing this, but I think it's more, like, your, your job, or, like, your spirituality or whatever, but <clears throat> the King of Swords cuts through the bullshit and is very, um, it's like, air energy, so Gemini, Gemini, Libra, I know I just forget the other one. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Yeah, Aquarius. You guys. <laughs> so this it might be you. But you also have the Hierophant. Or the, I'm sorry, the Emperor here. So <clears throat> he's upside down. So um, the Emperor is Aries. So maybe you're dealing with an Aries, or maybe you're just dealing with these energies of. Um, not feeling very grounded. Um, Cause you have this seven of seven of wands. So wands are about your passion. So you've had some the seven of wands to me is like divine messages, like basically like a call from the heavens. It's like a divine intervention is kind of what I call it. So you've had this message come through, but maybe you haven't been 
speaking about it or maybe you haven't been just doing the things that you know is going to make you feel fulfilled to get your um to be in this like world and ten of cups energy so but the queen of pentacles you have the queen of pentacles and So maybe you're dealing with a Virgo, or this could be um, you mothering yourself, um, you nurturing your goals at this time, and nurturing these um, these things that you want to bring into fruition. Okay, and then these other three you have. Okay, so five of wands is ego battles, but you have it with the seven of pentacles and the nine of wands. So to me, these three cards say that like there's something going on with your work, your passion, or whatever, but you have this huge ego about it, and or you're fighting with people about it, and maybe you need to separate yourself from the group a little bit and kind of come back to center, come back to this loving Queen of Pentacles energy. Um, let me pull up a couple of things. You. <clears throat> Let me just clarify these three. Ah! Ooh. Okay, so the lovers. So, with this, <clears throat> maybe it is a relationship, or it could be like your connection to yourself, um, your connection to your higher spirit, like your higher purpose, your, um, like, <clears throat> your higher self. So, it's about grounding yourself to get back there in that air. You can only go, you can only go as high as you can high if you've been to your lowest low. Like, your highs are only as low as your lowest lows. Does that make sense? I don't know. So, it's like, Finding this stable place of being grounded in this motherly, like, loving Queen of Pentacles energy, being mutable instead of this fixed um, energy. It's um, flowing with things that you love and things that you are passionate about. Figuring out, like, what you really want. Um, figuring out the root of the problem, like, What's causing you to have these conflicts with people? What's causing you to fight with people? What's causing you to have these ideas that are making you second-guess yourself or um, stay up at night? Or just be in confusion. Like, it's definitely about balancing this stuff with the King of Swords energy. It's balancing. Hmm. Ooh, okay. So, but you have a... Seven of Swords upside down. So the Seven of Swords to me. Okay, so this card is like. I don't like this card. It's my favorite. It's my least favorite card. But he's like, okay, so he's taking off with these swords, right? So he's like stealing ideas, so to speak. So maybe you're like taking other people's ideas that aren't necessarily ringing true for you and using them as your own ideas, but not in a way like, oh, I'm stealing it, I'm going to go make this new idea and I'm going to get rid of it. Not like that. Like, you're taking, you're letting yourself be susceptible to other people's ideas, which are in turn almost making you change your own mind, but not in a good way. It's like a lie. It's like somebody's manipulating you and your thoughts and you're believing them. And it's causing you to have these problems with you and yourself, your higher self, or like you and some people in your life, like your uh, relationship, your family, your work. Um, so. Mm -hmm. But here's the tower. So the tower is like breaking everything down, figuring out, um, it's not even really figuring out, like this shit's gonna hit the fan and then it's inevitable, like shit's gonna hit the fan and then it will be broken down, but when it is broken down, then you can really take a minute to appreciate like 
the irony in it, I guess, and figure out what you want to do now. It's like once you're at the bottom and you fall off this tower, the only place to go is up. So that <laughs> so I don't know. So once you once you're down on the ground, you could rebuild yourself up and make yourself this strong like fortress or this be in that Aquarius like stars, air, energy. But you have to center yourself and come back to the ground first. Okay, and then you have, <clears throat> okay, the Queen of Wands. So the Queen of Wands is all about passion, all about, she has a sunflower, so it's happiness and growth and new ideas, new people. Um, and with the black cat here, it's like utilizing maybe like um, things that you wouldn't normally utilize, like seeing things like finding these ideas from maybe like unlikely places maybe you hang out with somebody you didn't necessarily think was like your type of person or like <clears throat> i'm feeling like expanding into this like creative adventure with people who are this 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 three of pentacles like they're in this church or um whatever but they're all in the dark they're all hiding and to me this is like hiding who you are in a mask. Like, they're in the dark because they don't want anyone to see them, I guess. So it's like, it's like the type of thing where I'm, people think their shadow self is like bad, bad, or whatever. So it's like, um, they don't realize that all these things that you shoved in your shadow self, shoved in the dark, tucked away for nobody to see, those things are really some of the truest things about you. So whatever you want to do as a child and you quit doing because it wasn't cool enough or the things that you, you don't wear certain clothes because you didn't think it was cool or you didn't do you because it wasn't cool and you, you know, everyone goes through that little phase, I think. But it's like, what things did you shove in the dark that you should probably go reevaluate and bring back out and those things are most true to you but they are also the things that are going to make you like pop it's gonna make you get your manifestation get your fruition get your rewards and your success and all the gold and all the world and the cups and happiness and emotion fulfillment and being whole again so three of swords it's a you know it's like you're breaking your own heart it's like your mind is doing too much you need to like clear yourself out and get in touch with your subconscious more like get in touch with this um this darker this darker place that's inside of you that's really not it's really like flip flop so and last card mm, strength so the strength card is all about um taming okay so she's like taming this beast with but she's like he's got his tongue out she's like looks cool like she's like calm and collected she's not like yelling at the beast she's like petting it it's like if you stroke if you pet the kitty he's gonna purr you know so it's like if you stroke people's egos or if you give them a compliment or if you give them sugar with their medicine they're gonna take it so um Watch what you say to people, watch how you treat other people, try to stay in that energy of like, oh, this queen of pinnacles, because she's right here by it actually, so stay in that motherly like energy, that loving energy, don't take it too far overboard, like, um, yeah, uh, let, me pull, let me pull two of these ones because I love this stuff. But, yeah. So this could even be, like, calming your, like, ego, calming your, it could be, your beast could be your mind. I think your beast could be different for each person. Your pride, maybe it's overcoming your fears and taming that beast. So whatever beast you have right now, it could be different things for different people, but 
think about figuring out what that is for you and using um, like love instead of like fear or hate. Ooh, dance with light. So do something to change your energy. So definitely with the, okay, so the first card out was the world, and so the last card out is dance with life, and they're the same thing, like, she, this, uh, the world card, she's, like, dancing earth into, like, she's basically destroying the earth so she can bring it back. She's the creator and the destroyer. She destroys everything so that she can just dance it back into, um, creation. So that's what it means to, like, dance to your own beat of your drum or do your own thing like destroy all this shit that's not you and like come back and make your own dance and the people who like fuck with it are gonna be with you like they're gonna come to your party <laughs> and then you're gonna be in that like happy like emotional fulfillment like when you're doing what you love like people can't help but fuck with you period so i'll see you guys for march subscribe like share comment Check out my website, tylerdaysantis.com, and check out the bio for all the rest of my links. Bye.